Hi, we're Derek and Jenna. We started our homesteading journey in 2011 with five small children, a garden, and a few chicks. Since then, we've added three more kids and a whole lot of animals. We're currently renting 37 acres in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we raise grass-fed beef, grass-fed dairy, pastured poultry and pork, free-range eggs, and a large garden. We also have a couple pet goats, several barn cats, and a beagle. We're working on moving from growing just our own food to selling locally. We homeschool our children and are a full-time family with hopes and goals of farming for a living. We would love to welcome you all to follow our family on our journey. Hey y'all. Hey. <laughs> Derek with his fancy hot tea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's good for me. It is good for him. It's a dandelion root, so. Anyway, um, we are not on an adventure today. We are on the way to the vet with Samson. He's in the back of the van. We'll show him to you in a minute. Um, he went down two weeks ago, week and a half ago. Yeah, we talked about it. We talked about it. You saw him. I think it's only been a week and a half. Yeah. Me too. It was a week ago Friday. Um, all these days blend together anymore. But he was down, hypothermic. We got him up, got him warmed up, saved him. We didn't think he was going to make it, but he did. He pulled through. And he's been doing okay. Um, but the last two days in the mornings, he won't get up on his own. He's not laid out flat. Like, he's dying, but he's laid there, curled up, and he won't stand up. They pick him up once he's up. He does okay. Um, yesterday we got him out and let him eat some grass. Um, and stuff, he's just puny. You know, we wormed him. We're not really sure what's going on with him. And it's kind of that point where we're like, well, he's not making significant improvements. So we are going to go ahead and haul him to the vet and let them run whatever they need to do, if they need blood or stool sample, whatever they're gonna do. And that way we know, hey, if he has worms that our particular wormer didn't hit or just what's wrong with him. Um, and then we can get going with getting him better. So, because yeah. he is our little He's pet. Little He's pet. our little baby. Some people have dogs, we have a cat. So anyway, we, we love our little guy and um, we just need to know what's going on with him. So that is where we are going and what we are doing today. This is curbside service there. Treating him from the back of the van. Um, so far, he, his vitals look good, things look good. He's gonna go ahead and run a fecal, which he's already gotten, it's gone in, and then he's gonna come take blood and check his blood for like anemia or anything like that. Um, he's up right now, and the only thing, like we said, he's just been a little lethargic and puny, and in the mornings, we're having to physically pick him up to get him up. So, just trying to see what's going on with our little guy. So, all right. <laughs> Is this the easiest cow you've ever worked on? It's not, it's not near <laughs> Pretty death. Pretty easy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, when he casted yeah. his leg last spring, he didn't even have to yeah. sedate him. I know, yeah, I know. Just, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so. right. He's pretty rotten. They are, uh, went ahead and pulled blood and gave him a B12 shot. He's going to run that and um, it'll take a few minutes. We're gonna sit and hang out while he runs that and then go from there. And I think he said give him some B12 shots. Um, which he just did. Which he just gave him one. So I don't know if we'll keep giving some for a few days or whether we'll figure all that out. So we should have more information pretty soon. I know you're getting a lot of shots today, aren't you? Bye. You probably to hold him. Oh, might be okay. Got these new syringes in there. <laughs> Do not. I'll get you another shot of mine. I don't think we got much of that. Topically, maybe. We'll give you this one. Oh, I know. That one's going to be fine. I'm 
definitely very anemic. So we're going to go with B12 shots for 10 days and also probiotics every day. Um, we have some red cell on hand, so we're going to try to get him to eat red cell. I don't know if he will because it's not very tasty at all. Um, he's going to go ahead and deworm him because he is, does have worm load, does not have toxidia. Um, but we're going to do an extensive blood panel so we can figure out why he's so anemic. And hopefully it is not something chronic. It's just something that is treatable and we can take care of easily. Get him yes. back on the right Get him track. Get back on the right track. All right, we are on our way home. We've been here just over 30 minutes. Yeah. Not long. Well, 40 minutes because we were actually a little bit early. early yeah. So anyway, um, they're super nice. Same vet that put the cast on his leg before. And um, they, so he's going to go ahead and run extended blood work. And he will reach out to us when that comes back. Um, I would expect, he acted like they would have it back soon as yeah, today I mean, or tomorrow, I don't yeah, know. Today or tomorrow. Um, and he said if it's something really weird and off like because we're not sure what's going on with them you know he said he might reach out to uh, Virginia Tech just to see if they have any suggestions but we like that's all speculation because we have no idea it could be something that's not really a big deal we just need to get his blood built back up and he'll be fine so um, until then we're just gonna do B12 shots probiotics maybe some red cell and um, while it's cold, we're keeping him in with a blanket on at night. Um, and during the day, if it's cold, we're called. We're calling for snow. Um, the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow, so he will definitely stay in for that. We won't have him out, and his keep him blanketed at night and all that. So we'll see. Um, hopefully, hopefully we'll have him on the track to health. And we are going to head back home, and I think we're going to make Christmas cookies. Yes. Hey y'all. It's actually the next day. Yes. We made it home, and we decided that with the time it takes to mix up cookies and then chill the dough. We didn't have time to make cookies last night. So, we're gonna make cookies today. Today, we're gonna make Christmas today cookies. Jacob's coffee. Yeah, you see Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> and who? We have mixed up two types of dough. We did um, pecan. Butter pecan shortbread. Yeah, that. Butter pecan shortbread. That's a first for us. We've never tried that before. And then these are, they're both, the yeah, they're both first <laughs> times we've tried these recipes. And this is going to be a, what do they call it, brownie cutout cookie, so chocolate cutout cookie. So yes. I think we're going to make some royal icing. Is that what we're going to do? I think so. I think so. To go on them, but they have to chill in the fridge. The pecan cookies have to chill for two hours. And the uh, chocolate cookies for 30 minutes. So. Chocolate cookies will get out co cooked first. Out cooked and decorated. Yes. cookies and they turned out really cute the kids decorated them we got royal icing recipe and they turned out really tasty they're tasty yeah I had one I'm, I'm a little sugared out I don't do a ton of sugar so yes. uh, I'm a little sweeted out and um, where's the pecan we, ones I don't know they're getting them they're, they're in they, our bread box they weren't as good as the chocolate like when you have the chocolate the microwave <laughs> yeah we don't use a microwave for anything but bread and store and things when you have this really rich and decadent chocolate cookie and then you eat a uh, butter pecan cookie afterwards, it pales a little, in my opinion. <laughs> I think they would be good, but like, I'm really, really sugared out. Like, the smell of them is like, whoo, 
Yeah. They turned out really good and cute. And um, as far as Samson goes, the, we haven't heard back from the vet. We called and he was actually out of the office today. So yes. hopefully tomorrow, he they were going to leave a message for him to call us. So. Yeah. We should know something more tomorrow, and that's about it. So we hope you guys enjoyed this. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave us a comment below, and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when we upload videos. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Yes, see y'all later.